Alrighty, if you are getting ready to sign electronically all of the annual forms that you received in email, this short video will show you a step-by-step -step process for how to complete it. The very first thing you wanna do is go to our school district homepage, mcpsmt.org, and click on Web Connect at the bottom of the screen. Then under the column listed for parents, click on the Q Parent Portal. You'll need to log in, so make sure that you have your unique PIN and password. If you don't have it yet, you can get it from the secretary at your student's school. Once you log in, you'll see some information about one of your students. The first thing you want to do is come right up here to the top to My Information. When you get to that area, you'll see yourself at the top of the list. Then you'll see each of your students showing right underneath you. In this case, this example only has one student. You want to go over to this edit button for each of your students. You'll have to remember to complete this for each of your students. Click edit. And you'll see some basic information with your contact information, your email address, etc. The first thing you want to do is click on MCPS opt out. This screen essentially has the same language that was sent to you in the PDF with all of our legal, doc legal documentation and annual notices. You can read each of these areas. And then what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom of the screen and complete this series of check boxes for each of the areas that you read below. For example, to consent that you have read the handbook and you understand that you and your student will be held to the expectations in the handbook, you would click yes. The next area is opting in or out of digital resources. If you can't remember what you're opting in and out of, just scroll right back up to the top, read this section about digital resources, and then scroll to the bottom and make your choice. When it comes to Google, you pull this little drop down, and remember, Google is only a consent that our elementary and middle school families have to offer, and you're essentially consenting to a Google account, a Google account that includes email, or no Google account at all. You'll make sure that you select all of the other checkboxes based on the language that you see in the text above, and then this is the really important part, come all the way up to the top and click the Submit button. You'll notice that then your account says Changes Pending and secretaries on the other side of this form will be able to see the information that you entered and input that on behalf of your student. This is the point where if you had additional students listed below in this area, you would click the Edit button and complete the same steps for each of the students. If you have any questions about this process, please give a call to the secretary at your student's school. Also, make sure that you complete the contact information update that was included in the email you received from the school district. If you want to find that information again, simply go to your school's homepage. I'll use Sentinel High School as an example. And then look in this series of buttons on the homepage for this link that says contact information update form. Click that, complete the form, and make sure that you give us your most recent uh, cell phone number, home phone number, work number, as well as email address. It's really important to us that we keep that information up to date for you. And this is an important time, especially when we're sharing a lot of information digitally with our parents. Once you've completed those two steps, the last step is to complete a free and reduced price lunch form. We are really encouraging all of our families to complete a free and reduced price lunch form because it impacts the federal funding that we get for academic services in our district. It doesn't just provide families with the ability to get a free or a reduced price lunch. The way you fill that out is to go to our homepage, mcpsmt.org, click on student services, 
come right down here to free and reduced price meal application. And then if you click right in the center of the screen on this link that says online application, you'll come right back into the Q Parent Portal. You'll have to log in, use your uh, same PIN and password, and complete the form in Q. Thank you very much.